Welcome back, 3D print designers. Today, we are going to be using the grab brush. So let's go ahead and crank up the blender and do file new general. And let's save it as, and we'll just call it grab and save it. So let's go ahead and set up for sculpting. So click on your object. I'm gonna turn on my mat caps just for better visibility. And then let's add a modifier, multi-resolution and subdivide about five times. You know the dance. And then we can swap over into sculpt mode with control tab down and let's use our grab tool. So the grab tool today is pretty self-explanatory. It will essentially just let you grab different parts of your model. So notice it has the radius, it has the strength. And if we go to tool, you've got your auto smooth and normal weight. So what you can do is just maybe increase your radius to be maybe about a 200, somewhere in there. And what I want you to do is click and grab the ears and just stretch them out a little bit. So this is the grab tool if you just need to literally grab something and move it around. Notice how this brush has an inner circle and then a an outer circle. That does play into part of where it will grab. So let's go ahead and scale it down. See how the, the inner circle is kind of small right there on the forehead? And then they have the larger circle around the forehead. When we click and pull, if we pull hard enough or long enough, then you'll see that where we, you know, the outside of that circle is actually the width of where it pulls. So that kind of gives you an idea of you know, how it's, how wide the, the, the grab is happening. And notice that when I grabbed this, it went really far back and it did some weird like pinching or kind of like overlapping of the geometry a little bit. Not too bad, actually, that's okay. But it uh, just looks kind of weird. So I'm gonna undo that. And what you can do with the grab is kind of go from the angle and see how the brush kind of snaps to the mesh here. Let me zoom in so you can see better. Uh, it kind of snaps to you know, where you are on the forehead here. That is what I would do is just kind of attack it from the side and grab from the side there and then click and drag there. Now you can kind of get, you know, say if we wanted to do like a little unicorn horn there. Now we've got a little unicorn horn. You can even grab that and move it over if you wanted to. Now we got a little curvy unicorn. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And so what I want you to do in this lesson is just play around with the grab brush, you know, maybe mess with her eyebrows, see if you can get her to get some expression going here. You can even scale them down, you know, try different strengths. I'm going to do somewhere in here and just kind of like, you know, try to just morph the face around. And, you know, it is pretty easy to really mess up the mesh this way, uh, but that's okay. You can always go back and hold shift and smooth it out. Or maybe if you want to grab the nose. So notice I'm grabbing the nostril with the smaller circle, but there's actually this outer ring that is going out above and beyond the nose, that's okay. Cause when we grab, notice it's still gonna grab all that right there. So you could grab that. I could grab this nostril and bring it down. Maybe we wanna bring the mouth, maybe increase that. And just grab the corner of the mouth. Hey, hey, making some funny little smiles here. So really just get the idea of what this tool can do. Uh, if you just need to like, just grab some geometry and move it around really quickly. This is a really helpful way to do that. So just knowing that you have this in your tool belt is very, very, very helpful. Again, I'm gonna come from the side here, maybe shrink that down a little, but you get the idea. It's not too complicated of a brush, uh, but it does take some getting used to just cause it can be a little strange at first, uh, but just remember to keep your brushes kind of a little larger than what you think it would be and to just play around cause the more you play around, the better it's gonna be. And also notice there's no subtraction mode on this, but you can still get the kind of like a similar effect is if you click and drag inward. Notice now you can, you know, kind of make craters inside the head like that. You know, that's possible as well. You want to go in from the side, bloop, just like we did the horn. And yeah, so that is essentially the grab tool. You know, play around as long as you want with this tool. It can be really fun just grabbing things and making little spikes or just moving geometry around really quickly. Uh, you know, it's totally up to you. So have some fun. And then once you feel comfortable with the grab tool, then we're going to jump on over into the next brush, which is the elastic form.